I'm Case of Christman, average bystander and internet personality, and I'm trapped in a boring contemporary society. So. Well, do we have the deal for you. Hi, I'm Jason Vizvaliotis, acclaimed historian and fellow doctor. And I'm Jarrell Sims, world-renowned archaeologist and mama's boy. Are you tired of your boring everyday life? Do standard time travel locations like Rome and India all feel the same to you? Then the Moche Civilization would be just a civilization for you. What's that? The Moche Civilization was located along the coast of modern day Peru in South America. The civilization, organized into various independent city states, grew and thrived there between 100 and 800 CE. Wow, sounds so exciting! They grew along a 250 mile strip of coast around 13 river valleys, including the Moche and Chicama. Being around so many rivers made, means there was always clean water, both for drinking and farming. Wow, sounds like a lot of work. Their hard work definitely paid off, allowing them to have lots of agricultural surplus. I remember agricultural surplus from my AP World History class. It allowed most civilizations to have a degree of specialization and let people do things other than farming. You're right, Keishaw. There were agricultural surpluses in every class of civilization, including Rome, China, and India. Of course, it was also in the Moche. This caused a large class of skilled artisans and craftspeople who didn't make food for themselves to arise. These craftsmen created beautiful pieces of art and pottery, which depicted both their everyday life and their culture. Just like other classical civilizations, like Greece or China, art played a huge role in their belief systems. In China, art was used in Taoism to represent nature and balance, and in Greece, art was used to depict the gods and their divine deeds. Oh yeah, like pediments, similar to the one found on the Parthenon. Precisely. Both the Moche and other classes of civilizations portrayed their, their culture beautifully, and artifacts like we can still see today. This art was prominent throughout the history. Mochican art has still been used to learn of, more about the lifestyle today. The evidence we have from the ancient Mochicans is their art. They didn't leave much else behind for us to study because they didn't have a written language. This means that art was pretty important, both in their society and keeping records. You know how the Moche are just as good as the classical civilizations, we want to tell you how they are different. Classical civilizations like Rome and India had complex social structures like India's castes and Rome's divided social hierarchy. However, from what we know, the Moche only had three classes, warrior priests, craftsmen, and farmers. From what you know, I thought you were experts. Moche didn't have a written language, we don't know that much about their society. What we do know, however, is from what we've unearthed from their pottery and burial sites. So. Unlike China and Greece, particularly Athens, women held higher roles in the Moche society. For example, Moche women were believed to be able to participate in, in war. My wife always wanted to be a warrior. I thought about this from their burial sites and their pottery. Moche burial sites, high ranking individuals who were found with ornaments depicting both religious and, and violent scenes, as well as weaponry. This shows how the wealthy ruling elite had ties to both religion and fighting, suggesting that they may have all been the same class. Pottery depicted many scenes from the lives of Moche elites. Most of this pottery showed the elites participating in war and in religious ceremonies, also showing that the elites performed many different jobs. The Moche were different from and better than the classical civilizations was their runs of life expansion. Civilizations like Greece, Rome, and Persia expanded to large areas spanning hundreds and upon hundreds of square miles. The Moche were confined to only a 250 mile stretch of coastline. And expansionism is a key trait of empires. Thanks, Mr. Paulo. Like classical civilizations, the Moche city-states concentrated mostly on expanding their own territory. We frequent amongst these city-states, many ended up capturing prisoners of war for human sacrifices. Sacrifice? Gross! Classical civilizations didn't have that! They didn't, and that's just another way that the Moche is clearly better than the classical civilizations. Hooked! I'm gonna buy now! Believe us? Ask our satisfied customers! Hello, in Peru. It's so exciting! <laughs> Since my move to the Moche Civilization, I've never been happier. Go to the Moche Civilization with three easy payments of... Your first one child, a time machine, and 9 dollars